वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन नीड ऑफ एस आर एस डॉक्यूमेंट इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द नीड्स ऑफ एस आर एस डॉक्यूमेंट लेट एस डिस्कस वॉट इज द नीड ऑफ एस आर एस डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट एस आर एस दैट एस्टाब्लिश द बेसिस ऑफ अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन द यूजर एंड द सप्लायर ऑन वॉट द सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोडक्ट विल डू it is an agreement between the customer and organization the organization that is developing a software so the user needs have to be satisfied but the user may not understand the software the developers will develop the system but may not know about the problem domain so srs document is the medium to bridge the communication gap and specify the user needs in a manner that both can understand so it is an agreement between the customer and the supplier or the client or the organization srs it helps the user to understand his needs users they do not always know their needs they know the problem they they are uh, find difficult to express their the exact requirements or the the features of the software or the different functionalities of the software say so they do not always know their needs and must analyze and understand the potentials so the goal is not just to automate a manual system but also to add a value through it the software developer role is not just to to make an automated automation of a system but we need we need to uh, make a quality software the requirement process that helps to clarify the needs the srs document that will help to understand the needs of a user srs also provides a reference for validation of a final product the clear understanding about what is expected or if the software meets the requirement okay so it is a validation validation means that software it should satisfy the srs needs means whatever the uh, requirements that are mentioned in a srs document so the user needs are satisfied by a software so srs uh, document it act like a, a validation validation of the requirements high quality srs document is essential for high quality software requirements errors get manifested in the final software to satisfy the quality objective it must begin with high quality srs document so the requirement defects are not few there are some cases are there where 25% of all the defects in one case it is arised at that requirement phase so out of 25 percentage the 54 percentage of all the defects are found after the coding and unit testing and that of 45 percent of these errors are actually originated during the requirement stages good srs reduces the development cost srs errors are expensive to fix later requirement changes can cost a lot up to 40 percentage good srs document can minimize the changes and errors that occurs in the later stages so substantial savings the extra efforts spent during the requirement saves the multiple times that effort so let us consider one example the cost of fixing errors in the requirement phase design phase coding phase acceptance testing phase and operation and maintenance phase are uh, given as 2 uh, person per month 5 person per month 15 person per month 50 and 150 person per month as per the phase wise this is the cost cost of fixing errors in the each phase after requirement phase the 60 5 percentage of the requirement errors are detected in the design 
two percentage in the coding, thirty percentage in uh, acceptance testing, and three percentage during the operation. So this is they are given the the requirement errors that are detected after the requirement phase. After the requirement phase, that comes the design, coding, testing, and maintenance phase. So their percentage of errors are given. So in continuation with that uh, input values, if the 50 requirement errors are not removed in the requirement phase, if the 50 requirement errors are not removed in the requirement phase, the total cost is, the total cost is, so here there are 65 percentage, so 65 percentage, uh, so in that if the 50 percentage 50 requirements are not removed in the requirement phase so what happens here 65 into 50 by 100 65 into 50 by 100 so that is 32.5 so 32.5 into 5 5 means what is the 5 so uh, it is given in the example that in the design phase it is required 5 percent per month so 32 into 5 into 5 then uh, next given as a 2 percentage in coding so 2 by 100 into 50 okay 2 into 50 by 100 so we will get 1 uh, so 1 into in the coding phase they are given 15 percent per month then similarly for uh, similarly for the ex testing phase 30 percentage so 30 into 50 by 100 so that is 15 into 50 is the percent per month so similarly that uh, we will get 1152 hours when when if the 50 requirements errors are not removed in the requirement phase if the 50 requ requirement errors are not removed in the requirement phase then the total cost is 1152 hours so it is based upon the the um, the cost of fixing the errors that is given in the example so if 100 percent per hours 100 percent per hours are invested additionally in the requirement phase in the initially only to catch these 50 defects then the development cost could be reduced by 1152 percent per hour so the net net reduction is 1052 percent per hours means here we need to find the defects as early as possible so we need to spend more effort in the initial phase only otherwise the if there are 50 requirements errors are not removed then the cost will be 1152 errors because the 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 requirement errors the requirement defects that are uh, fixing at the later stages so the cost will be more now let us pause the video for a while and just analyze the graph what actually the graph is so the graph this contains the x-axis the different phases of the software development requirement design code testing acceptance operation and as the y-axis given the relative cost to fix the errors so the graph it is increasing with respect to the different phase wise means if we fix the errors at the later stage then the cost of the cost of fixing the defects is increases suppose in the requirement phase the cost is very less and suppose if we uh, fix the defects at the later stages at the acceptance stages then the cost will be more cost will be more so remove the defects early as the cost of removing defects that increases with the latency so these are the references i referred thank you